Hello and welcome back to Lorcana Villain. My name is Baker and today we're going to be doing another one of our player interviews. Now normally when I've done these in the past I've done them in the same video as a top 8 or, te or top 16 decklist uh, video where that person has featured. Um, we're, today we're going to be talking to a German player who goes by the name of Artabax who made second place in the most recent online um, Alice's 2k Easter special. Obviously, we've already reviewed all those lists, but that just gives us longer to talk to Artabax, who is no stranger to Top Cut success, also made Top 4 in Season 2 for the online return of the MIM event, and won a paper tournament in Germany for the Into the Inklands release. So the majority of today's video is going to be made up of just me talking to Artabax. There are going to be timestamps, as always, for um, you to zoom through to pieces of conversation that you might find the most interesting. We're going to look at their list that they ran for the event and talk all about that. And then the video will end off with me playing a game with Artabax's list, with the man himself in my ear coaching me through it. I still haven't played any EA Tempo. I've, I've been bigging it up for ages, but I have zero um, EA Tempo games on my belt. So that'll be really interesting to jump into a game with, uh, I think it's fair to say, one of the best EA Tempo players in the game. And here we are, as promised, I am joined by the man, the myth, the legend, the second place uh, winner of the recent pack event. We have Artabax. Thank you so much for joining me, sir. We've got a lot to talk about, loads of things I want to ask you. I want to get your insights, your opinions, all things Artabax. But let's start right at the, at the, the root of the needle. What is your experience with TCGs in general? Before you even got into Lorcana, is this your first trading card game or do you have another that brought you here? Tell us all about it. First of all, thank you so much for having me on your channel. I really appreciate that. Um, um, yeah, I have TCG um, uh, experience. Not that much into magic. The most people were into magic really high. I think the most um, competitive players here. But I, I was, I was, I had a, a, a long break. Um, I started with Yu Gi Oh! as some people, but that was way, way in the past, uh, Same. 2004, 5, 6. Oh, or you're something. Maya, you're, you're Maya <laughs> of Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, I played right from the beginning of the game through to yeah. maybe just yeah. after sy around synchros so like a good sort of yeah, seven, eight, they, even eight earlier bls control yeah 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 mate i played yeah, 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 before yeah. there was a ban list <laughs> 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 i had to suffer through yatta locks chaos emperor yatta dragons and <laughs> <laughs> um, but there, there, I was very young. There, I was 15, 16 or something. So I was not that competitive. I, we went yeah. to some tournaments, and but not that high uh, competitive that I would say I've not. And then the first com really competitive experience I had was in World of Warcraft TCG. Okay. Um, that TCG died very soon, sadly. I don't know why it did not sell that much, or I don't know. Um, but there I was on the World Championship in uh, San Diego, on with, uh, with a fly there, and there I came 99th or so. So that was that was that was the best um, that was the best experience I had. And then I had a little break. I played Hearthstone and some online MTG Arena and something, but um, not that high competitive. I, in Hearthstone, I got legend sometimes, but not. That's crazy. Um, yeah, not really I have no idea. That's one that I never played. Yeah, I, I, Hearthstone's uh, come up a lot. I've spoke to a couple of people on the channel who like got a history of Hearthstone. So, what was your experience with that? Enjoy it. Yeah, I did enjoy it, but I was not. Uh, I I did not have a community or something. We just played right. it for ourselves. Um, that paper paper TCG is like Locarno. Lo this paper thing really helps to get a community yeah. where you can train and and that that really helps um so if you only play for your for yourself alone it you you can't improve too much because mm -hmm. you have nobody to talk with and uh i didn't i didn't i didn't search for for some internet sites or something i, I just played it for myself and that was I, I love tcgs in general so that was fun but not very high competitive that started 
You just didn't uh, really have the environment. Happen. You just didn't have the environment around you to like help push you as a player and help you improve. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, that's true. And like, and keep giving you motivation and like a sense of accomplishment. I suppose. Like, I, that, yes, I'm glad yes, you're yes. zoning on that. I think the community is a more important part. It always sounds so cheesy to say like the community is important, but it really yeah, is. Yeah, but it is. It's it, a fact. Um, yeah. And I, I'm very glad that we have in. in uh, I live in a city called Karlsruhe in Germany, and there we have a really competitive community i would say who are all very encouraged to to play big tournaments mm -hmm. and and looking for the best deck and and that I, is really helpful to get better yes yeah for sure no germany like it's one of the places that's come up the most for big events that i've covered uh for lorcana and i remember again back in Yu-Gi-Oh days it was always one of the locations yeah. that you really looked out for like back in my day it was metagame.com with like written reviews of the yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. of the tournament we, we didn't have live casting back then <laughs> it was it was all written uh but yeah germany was always like uh, the events to keep an eye on and net deck basically <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it, it were other days because you don't have things like pixel born the meta was way slower than you went to a tournament then you see the deck list and maybe you build something new but then the next deck list come with the next big tournament in three months or so that that is totally changing here and in, in, with the access to pixel born and uh, it's so fast evolving the meta that's crazy sometimes it, it's you can count days and the meta changes so, yeah uh, for sure in two or just, three days or something uh, and, ju and just social media like the advancement of it our ability to yeah. communicate with each other about these things like like you say it was it was far net decking was far harder Harder back in back, yeah, back in yeah. my youth, and I say that as yeah, essentially yeah. the net deck enabler. But anyway, <laughs> um, so quite a varied experience with TCGs. Not at the highest competitive level, from your own words. I'm 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 sure you were. I'm sure you were just as talented, but nonetheless, didn't have that environment around you to really push you. But. What brought you to Disney Lorcana as a trading card game? How did you first hear about it? Did it take long for you to pull the trigger in your interest? Tell us the story of getting into Lorcana specifically. I think I first saw it in an advertisement or something like four or five months before it's where released. it was released. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know exactly, but of, of course I miss the TCGs. I love TCGs and it, I love the simple thing of building decks and making them better and the meta game. I love this all. And um, I, I was I was searching for a new TCG and uh, Disney is a is a is a franchise I really love. Um, I love so many movies for, for especially the music because I'm really musical um how can i say musical uh, i love mus music in, in, in especially it's one, of, it's one of your and, one of your passions um, yes music is one of my passions and especially film music is one of my passions and therefore i have so many songs in in disney i love and some movies are deep in my heart like uh, lion king is one of my favorite movies of all time uh, even even for adults it's it's a very it's such a I think more movie. so uh, for adults, to be honest. It was it was our yeah. era. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But it, 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 I think it, it released as a as a as a movie for children. I don't it's know. It's It's timeless. Uh, it's timeless. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's if, timeless. If, it's if the day yeah. ever comes that I have children, it's not on the horizon, but if that day ever comes, then I would absolutely make them watch all yeah. like my favorite although childhood although... Disney classics. Although it's very sad, uh, some, uh, it can be it can be really yeah. uh, for children. Uh, life um, lessons, man. But, life lessons. Uh, life lessons <laughs> yes. uh, I would also do that. So um, and that film is deep in my heart, and some other movies. So I really love the music from Hunchback of Notre Dame. That is my favorite Archies. score. We've got more in common than I initially yeah. realized. <laughs> before, before Hellfire, Hellfire is one of my my I, favorite uh, songs. It, it uh, used to, I used to say so before 
before you guys would have missed this, I hadn't clicked record yet. But when me and I were saying hello, I was like, I've got to talk, ask you about the piano in the background. He was like, oh, yeah, I, I, I play a bit. I love music and Disney. So I was like, oh, well, let's hold it there and have the conversation actually in the video. So we have been building to this. But no, that's awesome to hear that the Hunchback of Notre Dame is my favourite score overall. Yes. For any, and the prologue specifically, the Bell of Notre Dame. And that's like, I'm not just taking other Disney films into account. I'm taking musical theatre as a whole um because obviously that's that's my training that's my main history and i still say bells of notre dame is one of the most stunning prologues of all time so lion king hunchback of notre dame for you what about modern disney are you a fan um yes i saw them i, I like them uh, i think they're good movies uh, you mean frozen and and yeah and tangled and, and, and moana and Kanto, things like um that. uh moana i like them uh, moana is really was really cool was really really cool and the rapunzel film was really cool tangled yeah i'm a big fan of that uh yeah um but i i didn't i didn't see Every movie is, to be honest, but yeah, we were, there's a few I've missed. Has... No, there's a few I've missed. There's a few I've missed, but that's awesome. Um, again, like I, I spoke to um, Harlan on the channel a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. who I know you're familiar with, and it was interesting talking to him because he said he, he said straight up, I wasn't really a big Disney guy, to be honest. Like, what brought me into Lorcana was I was looking for a TCG. I liked how it played. He was a Pokemon player, but then from getting into the game, he was like, oh, okay. Well, well, this character, I think he mentioned John Silver specifically or someone from Treasure Planet. He was like, this seems like a cool character. Maybe I'll go away and watch mm -hmm. Treasure Planet. And it's awesome that you would assume that most people are Disney fans that then get into a TCG, but it can go the opposite way. But I'm very yes, similar yes, to yes. I'm very similar to you. For me, it was at, it was literally a big a big amount of both. A big TCG fan, um, big history with that, and just a big fan of Disney. And you slap the two together. Like there are certain things if you just chuck a coat of paint on it, a Disney coat of paint, or I'm a Pokemon fan, or wrestling things like things that are my interests. You put a coat of paint on it like that, and and, and I'll be interested. But that's awesome, and obviously you liked how the game played. I, I would assume that yes. even loving Disney, if you didn't think of it was course, a good game, um, you wouldn't have stuck to it, assumedly. Yes, I I saw the, 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 the rules are very simple, you could say. Mm -hmm. um, but the most, the, 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 the rules for the most TCGs are very simple in its base form. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I really like the resource system. I really hated it in Magic. I hate this... Uh, you miss lands thing. Uh, I hate it so much. Uh, you lose so many games. I, for my, for yeah, there's always uh, really a high skillful game, but I really hated the games. I draw either too much lands or too less lands. It's very unsatisfying for me, or it felt very unsatisfying for me. And the, this ink uh, thing is the the best best system you can have for because it's the most consistent thing for for resources. I I can say I would say. Because um, that was in World of Warcraft, for example, the same uh, inking system, the same resource system, and that's uh, that was uh, the thing I really liked about it. Because um, we can play more the game and not having uh, to fear to brick so hard for just the resource thing. Yeah, you, uh, the, you, in a best case scenario, you want both players to hit their reasonable outs, be able to play the game, to both yes, compete yes. at the most competitive skilled level. You never want it to come down to, I missed I, 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 I missed my ink, which I had yeah. a four in five chance of hitting and I just got unlucky and that is enough to end the game, unfortunately. Yes, yes, yes. And it can even happen here with the uninkables, uh, but not, yeah. uh, of course, not that much... Uh, that often, like in Magic, or it's interesting because I I, I I never picked up Magic, but I obviously through habit of Lorcana and back in my Yu-Gi-Oh days, and I played Pokemon as well. Most players that have played one of those TCGs have also played Magic, so I feel like I know a lot about it without ever having played the games or read the rules. Because I I always hear the same similar complaints basically to make yeah, what, yeah. what you've just said. So that, that's super interesting. Let's move us along uh, a little bit and talk about your success so far in previous events. So you've made top four at one of the pack events, the Return of the Mim event, I believe, mm -hmm. and you yeah, played. You played Ruby Amethyst for that event, if I've done my yeah, research Echo, correctly. Yeah, Echo Ruby Amethyst. Um, I'm, so, 
Acro mid range. So yeah, it was Lefou, wasn't it? Uh, it was Lefou loop with Arthur. With Lefou, uh, Arthur, but no two drop Pinocchios or something. It was a little bit more aggressive, but yeah. just with 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 Arthur and. But I still played be prepared and such cards. But um, it was kind of a middle of a thing between Acro and and the control version, I would say. I, I, it was built to beat the mirror match. Um, cause it's faster and the Ruby Amethyst in set two was very weak into Aqua most of the time. Mm -hmm. And, um, but even can you have to play be prepared to, to have a chance against a Steel Song or Blue Steel or something without them, you can't, you can't really do much. Um, so I played the middle of the thing, uh, deck and that really worked out there. Yeah, so I came top four, lost against. The green faser player. There was a green faser player that was really impressing, because the the deck never showed up before. And yeah, he, yeah, it was he quite finished new. Finished in the finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really cool. He crushed me really too. I think. <laughs> Still, Dave, making a top four. It was another big field, so that's awesome. And we're we're obviously gonna we're gonna we'll get to talking about the most recent tournament. But um, what about real paper play? Have you had many opportunities to play with with real paper? Uh, Yes, I, I yeah, I, 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 we are playing in the locals every week. But um, the best uh, thing I I can uh, can remember is the it was the release uh, tournament of set three mm -hmm. uh, where I won uh, with um, with my with nearly the same deck I played yesterday. Uh, I played on Sunday. Um, um, pre uh, uh, Emerald Amethyst Tempo deck. That was really new, and uh, uh, that was really, that was really cool because no one was prepared for this Ursula draw four thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, No one yeah. tacked against Ursula. It was really, it was really impressive. Yeah, right. so you were on it from run. early on. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I played it day one, and they were not prepared for this day. The most players were playing some Steel Song improved thing and and uh, Ruby Amethyst improved thing and. That was really impressive. This was really cool. Uh, that was, and that uh, was more than a hundred people. Uh, and I wonder that it was really. Awesome. That was my best success from, uh, with so paper. Far. Well, yes, yes. building building quite an impressive resume for yourself. Do you have any particular events coming up? Do you did you manage to? It's a sore subject. So I'm, I don't know if I should ask. Did you manage to get a ticket? I I'm trying not to cry now. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I got no ticket for Lil. Sadly, uh, I wanted to go to Lil. Uh, yeah, me too. But yeah, same story. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe I hope they will increase the number or something, because that would be really, really sad to not be able to compete yeah. there. Yeah. Um, there is hope. They've but made a post that they specifically said we are looking at raising the cap for prior events. So. He's hoping um, that 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 does come up. And Bochum is not is not uh, the sale is not open yet, so I hope I will at least get their ticket. Um, yeah. But that's the paper tournaments we all think. Uh, I think we all are excited about. Um, Have you got set championships cool. that you're you've got coming up? Are you going to yeah, try win yourself we, an I, enchanted I, stitch? Um, that was the same story. They, they are sold out in minutes. Uh, that's crazy uh, here in wow. Germany. Wow. Uh, so we were lucky to get to two now, um, but there we wanted to go to five or so, and we only got two now. Okay, but at least two. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, better, better than nothing. So, yes, yes, yes. Two chances to. Um, so, you, so, you, so you're going to have half a play set of enchanted stitches. Is that what uh, you're telling me? <laughs> 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 now, I wish you the best of luck with it. Uh, again, I'm I'm looking forward to my own. Let's push this on a little bit. Um, I don't know which is the better one of these to move on to. I want to get your thoughts on the meta as a whole. And I want to get your thoughts on um, the two-game format that you just went through in the tournament just now. So I don't know what the, which one of those you think is better to cover first. Well, uh, it's, I, th I, 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 I talk about the meta first. I think the meta is... Uh, really good right now i would say i'm really i'm really glad that it's so diverse um it was it was it was always diverse i would say um i i know ruby amethyst was in set two really popular but i it was not um the people were crying about the deck 
really hard, but I think it was beatable. It was not an unbeatable deck. Um, so I think it was not that often crazy of an issue. It was just very popular. So it showed up in the top lists, of course, uh, very much because if 60% of the field will play this deck, then of course they will, uh, they will much be in the top list. Um, but it was a beatable deck. It was not unfair or something. Um, um, so I was even there, I was happy, but now I'm even more happy because I think we never had uh, in this young TCG, but uh, a meta that was more diverse than now. I can, I, I could imagine to bring like seven or eight decks to a tournament and yeah, all agreed. can be successful. Um, there are far less surprises, I think. I mean, like, yeah, like far you. Less, you, you no, I was just going to say, like, 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 like you say, set one and two, Ruby Amethyst. Obviously, there's a star around it, and there's many reasons for that. But I, I agree with you. Like, I think set one really it was Steel Amber. That was probably the best. Deck. Yeah. And yeah, set yeah. two, you could you could make arguments um, towards Sapphire Steel already. Yes. Um, uh... And again, Amber Steel was still well positioned. I, I think it opened up a little bit, but I agree with you completely. This is the format. It feels the freshest and the healthiest. Yeah. And as someone that looks at the top. Eight, 16 lists of most big events i can tell you that it is reflected um in the top cut lists yeah and i think you can't you can't you can't pretend who wins uh i think that's a good that's a good uh how can you say it? it's a good reason that the uh, meta is diverse if, if, if it would be tomorrow a big tournament i couldn't say which deck will win because no. there are so many contenders uh, uh of decks that that really are really good um but for my test it's a little bit too much steel but <laughs> that's just because of my deck yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it's weak to it but um you can play so much decks and i would i would encourage everyone to just play their deck uh that are, they are most um yeah comp uh, confident with mm -hmm. because the meta is shifting so much and i think you get the best result in playing the deck you are most um experienced with and the people are underestimating sometimes this fact i would say um, because I, i'm not a person that likes it too much to just play the deck that fits the meta the most because it's a gamble often and and it's it's really it's you can hardly imagine it sometimes but it's really you do really better plays if you're really really experienced with the deck you can yeah. cheat out wins you you couldn't when you are not experienced with the deck I think that's underestimated sometimes because I think many people think the the best plays are obvious, but they are not that obvious sometimes. Um, if you if you think much uh, in the turns, then you 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 just realize you have so many options and can do other things. So I that that's why I chose to play green purple because um, I'm really most confident with, and mm -hmm. maybe there were better meta calls in this tournament, but I was kind of lucky with my matchups, but. Um, yeah, it worked out for me, obviously. Oh, yeah, I, I like again. I, I will. I was pleasantly surprised because I was expecting a lot of steel song in this uh, in this tournament, and I like I. You're a braver man than me. Let's put it that way. I, I, I'd have been terrified. <laughs> but um, let's like before we talk about two game format. Let's talk specifically about your run then. So obviously you were up against steel song in the finals, but what about your Swiss run? Um, any steel. Like any particular good stories, anything you were happy to dodge? What was the most tense um, moment? Tell us the story uh, of your run. I was very, I was very lucky, you could say, because I had, I, I wrote it down. I had nine, uh, yeah, there were nine <laughs> rounds. I had five red purple, mm -hmm. two red blues, one red faster, and one blue steel. Uh, that's very lucky for me because. Um, the the steel matchups are winnable. It's not it's not an auto lose, of course not. And I, I thought I will I will try to uh, get the steel matchups to a one one, because mm -hmm. on the draw it's very hard sometimes, especially against blue steel and uh, amber steel. Um, but if there if I could reach then uh, I, that was my gamble. I thought I have to win all red purple and red blue matchups, uh, and I should try to get a draw against everyone else yeah um, that's a good strategy it's, it's, to go in with that like, that's because you know that's going to be a lot of the field and you know you're just going to out race them like i can't yeah yeah um a red purple and red blue are really really good matchups really so i'm really confident with that matchup um 
but um, that was my my gamble. Um, I really I really thought so much. Uh, I I tested blue red so much, but because I still think blue red could be the best meta call right now. Okay. Because um, there's so much steel running around, and blue red crushes ember steel most of the time, and is really good against blue steel. They they could could be considered as the most popular decks right now. It's hard to say, but uh, one of the most popular decks right now. And red blue is a good deck. It's it's uh, uh, right now it was bad in the past against red purple, but right now with lucky diamonds such things, yeah. it's it's really good against red purple. And it has no really bad matchups except acro. Um, and acro is the problem for this deck. But I th thought acro will not show up that much because of that much steel running around. Yeah, so. Yeah. That was my thought that Red Blue could be the best meta call, and Bunny Ball played Red Blue and came top eight, so it's yeah. kind of reasonable, um, I would say. But I'm really not so experienced with the deck. I'm not that control style player, um, yeah. so I thought I'd just stick with my. Also, I wanted to try the two uh, the two game format with my deck. Um, with what you're more experienced yeah. with, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that what was the reason? Well, we'll move on to the two game format. Any um, any games? Well, I suppose not really. I suppose it was Ruby Amethyst, two blue reds, and then you took the draw against the uh, the steel. And I lost against the blue steel. It was Sky. Uh, yeah. It was Sky. Uh, yeah. I lost two against him. And hey, um, there's there's no I... shame in losing to Sky. Yeah, 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 that's all. That's true. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I the, the, the one game was very close, and I thought uh -huh. sometimes you could reach a one one, but it's it was okay for me. Um, because Sky is an incredibly good player. That's crazy. He is. Um, um, and. Yeah, but it was the, a packed. The, it was the... a packed top cup, to be honest. Yourself, Brennan, Sky, um, Rob Serp made it in. Uh, I'm definitely Bunny missing. Ball. A uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Han uh, Bannable, Specky. Like it was quite. It was uh, quite a packed yeah. top cup. Apologies if I've missed you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. But just... <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was it was a pretty packed top cut. Um. So yeah, yeah, something something to be proud of for sure. Okay, so we've beat around the bush long enough. Two game format, and you can, and it's absolutely fine to still to, to for your opinion to be. I don't know. We need we need more data because that's kind of been where I've been as well. I've been kind of like mm, this is my feeling, but I don't want to commit because I feel like this was good to do, but we need more. Maybe it's the points that need rejuggling more than anything else. T talk to me about it as much or as much or as little as you want. Uh, for me, for me, I really liked it. Um... Mm -hmm. I, I I have to say because I think it's 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 fair. <laughs> I think every format has, has its downsides, and this game this could be the downside that you can have too much draws even uh, even if you are a very skilled player. Mm -hmm. But the upside is that this dice roll thing is completely is completely vanished. Um, I played against Makoya who reached top sixteen, and against Bunnyball in the Swiss rounds who was top sixteen, mm -hmm. and and we I, we had a draw in both games, so I think it's quite fair, I would say, and I don't think a draw is a loss because I needed the three, the three draws to to reach top sixteen. Because uh, everyone's saying a draw is a loss, it feels sometimes like a loss, but it's not a loss. Um, you you just need to win. F Four or five games, and the rest should be draws. I don't get. I don't get the whole draw as a loss. You get. You get a point for a draw. You. You, you don't yeah, get a point yeah. if you get two owed. Like that. I'm sorry if I'm missing something, but points matter, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't I, get it as well. I don't know, but um, I think it's it's important, to, and I think it's fair if if I play a draw against Bunnyball or Makoya, then we are both. We think okay, we are. We are both skilled players, and that's okay for me. In the old system, one player has to be a winner, and the other um, is sad because he lost. So, so there has to be a winner, and now sometimes a draw is totally fine, I think. And and you said it uh, earlier. If you see the top cut list, um, who reached top uh, top top sixteen, that's the same names that were in the past in the top cut list. So you can't you can't say it's less skilled or something to reach yeah. top top cut because the same names, it's the Candio, it's it's Sky, it's Barnival, Makuya, Erebus, I don't know. Uh, oh sorry if I missed one. <laughs> Again. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think uh, there's nothing to complain too much about it for my feeling. Mm -hmm. um, so because I think 
the people are complaining about you get three points out of a 2-0, but I think that's right because it's very it's a very skillful thing in this game to to win a game on the draw, on the draw and yeah. that they want to encourage this to to win games on the draw. To, uh, they want to reward uh, yeah. winning games on the draw, and I, I I don't get it. They're complaining about you get three points out of a 2-0. In the old format, you get three points out of a 2-1. Mm -hmm. And they didn't complain, and now you get for a much more achievement three points. Uh, so because two zero is much better win than two one, uh, especially if you were on the play, then you win the plays on the play, and you get three points. That was much easier than get three points winning a game on the play and then on mm -hmm. the draw. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's quite reasonable to get three points out of it. Um, and yeah, you need to win games on the draw. That's that's the fact. Um, if you two o your opponents the most, you have a better chance of making the top cut, yeah. which it, which in my mind sounds right. I, it, 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 I, it's two opinions really. I'm seeing the majority of one, yeah. as you say, yeah. people complaining about the extra point for a two o, saying that maybe it should be a half point or whatever. Yeah, you could, um, you could argue that. Yeah, uh, the half point or the other. To... And the other side of it, I'm seeing is just. Should it? And to be fair, I've I said this myself talking about it. Maybe being too old needs to be punished. Although I said that in my last video, and I had a lot of commenters saying no, that doesn't make sense either. Which fair enough, you know. I'm I'm always put up having to put up my hand and say I, I was wrong. But those are the two sort of standpoints I'm seeing the most often. I think there are upsides for both formats. I think what what me per what I personally like is that the time thing that was really yeah. Much easier. Uh, it's uh, I just play tempo Arcodex because I have afraid uh, I'm afraid of the time issue to get too much draws and timeouts. I'm really afraid of that. I had that in the past in World of Warcraft, and I really hate that. So I'm really encouraged to play some faster decks because I'm really if the if in a paper tournament if the if the timer is on twenty minutes I'm I'm getting nervous. Uh, yeah, I, I want yeah. to play for I hate it so much. So <laughs> I, I play faster that. decks. Um, I've said that to more um, before. If you're worried about tournament fatigue and you don't like the idea of finishing a game on time and having to go straight into your next game for eight hours, play aggro. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you'll, know, yeah. you'll win or lose quickly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, 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 no. yes, that's true. That's also good. You have breaks then. That's uh, I yeah. really, uh, but I really like the playstyle more of tempo decks. But um, that's also the fact. But um, I really encourage to play uh, more control style decks now with this format because I think you have only two games and you are. It's very likely you finish them. So um, that's that's also a good upside of this. I think um, I, I agree. I, I I completely get both sides because like, I'm more on that side as well. I like the idea of playing less, which sounds weird because the other side of the coin is players that would say, I'm here to play the game. I would rather yeah. play more Lorcana and have another chance of winning the game. And I think that's a totally fair viewpoint to have. I, don't, fair, I, 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 I have no issue with that viewpoint. And to be fair, yeah. I might there might be a tournament one day where I'm doing really, really well. And the fact that I didn't get to go to a, de to a game three might cost me my top cut. And in that moment, I might feel really bitter about it. Full transparency. But at the same time, I like tournament fatigue is a thing like I'm 33 now back in my youth like I joke about it but it's true back when I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh every weekend I was a teenager I could handle it I could I could sit I could like I know it like you just sat in a chair playing card games but I'm 33 man my back by the end of round three I'm it's agony and again especially as you say if you don't get breaks because I'm the idiot that has taken control to every paper tournament I've gone to which isn't a lot but as a consequence I'm not getting breaks. I'm finishing a game close to time and going straight into the next one. And it was mm. just, it was just killing me. But more, as I've done more, it's gotten easier. Like I'm getting back into the swing of it, but fatigue is still a thing. And I think sometimes it's maybe the, this may be controversial. Maybe they're saving us from ourselves. Making us only play yeah. two, uh, two games in a round. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Do you think there's something to be yes, said about yes. the clock? Do you think there's something to be said about the clock being shortened? Um, I could be. It's it's quite reasonable, I think. But but if it's not needed, then why do it? Um, what so if think what time... if it's for more? What if people want more rounds? And this is my that opinion. This be... is this is just something I've seen come up. So I thought it was worth bringing up. That's, that, like... that could be. That could be. Yeah, that could be. Could be a thing. I didn't think about it yet. Um, I think that's a cool idea. Yes. 
Okay, so here is your list. So let's have a talk about it. Um, with the benefit of hindsight, would you make any changes? If you were playing another tournament tomorrow, big event, you want to play these inks, would you change any cards? The funny thing is I added two Exert Pinocchio before the tournament uh, okay. for two of the three card Maleficent, but only on Dreamborn I forgot it to to get over to to uh, to the Locana Play Network yeah. site. So I I I admitted this list and forgot to to, to play this exert Pinocchio. I wanted to play them, but it worked out for me with playing just the Maleficent. Super interesting. Um, Is that what you were gonna? <laughs> was that was that your was that your cut for the Pinocchio? Uh, my 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 first cut was two Maleficent cuts for two exert Pinocchios because I think they are very important into steel. But it worked out for me because I didn't play against that much steel. Uh, you were being looked right at. The pixel-born gods were like, "No, my son, <laughs> you do not need this, yes. this talkative puppet." Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's very straightforward. I, I didn't change too much too much since my since my win in the in the paper tournament mm -hmm. in the release event. Um, and that was, I think, I think like two months ago, or yeah. like yeah, um, a month and a half, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Month and a half, yes. Um, yeah, I think um, there are many much staple cards here. There are no many flex spots. If someone wants to try this deck out, um, um, I think everyone, every card in this deck makes sense and should not be cut. Uh, um, I played so much now with this deck. Um, I think every card here is, is quite reasonable. Um, you play 10 one drops because you, because you don't want to miss uh, a one drop, of yeah. course. I'm always debating to, to, between Rafiki and Chernobyl because they are quite reasonable both. And mm -hmm. I can't, I can't, I can't figure out sometimes which card is better. Uh, so I just split them up. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's important to play at least nine or 10 because uh, you don't want to miss. But I missed the one drop in. The second and the third game in the semi-final. I think that I remember really that. Crazy. Yeah, I think uh, I remember that. And to your credit, uh, I will say this, like, because I was watching your top 16, top 8, and top 4 game. Uh, I missed the finals because I was editing. But you are so calm. And I'm sure you're going to say I'm not on the inside. Uh, but, like, outwardly... Like, I, I don't know, man, like when I'm playing, I'm proper emotional and, uh, and you're sat there like just leaning in, just like staring and we can all see the cogs <laughs> turning. Like we can see that you're fully switched on and like something awful might happen and the most you'd give away is a... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah, you, 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 you seem to have a really... You, you, you keep your cool. You're really like just, you're in I a just... zone. I just want to uh, never give up because you win sometimes games that you think that are lost. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the that's lowest the win rate on Pixel One for many people that giving games up that uh, they think they will lose. But I'm responsible for just like fifty percent of that. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are because uh, you are tilted. Or I, tr I really try to be not tilted. Uh, yeah. That's that's not. Will not help, of course. Uh, that's sometimes we are all human. We can't, we can't, uh, we can't do anything. But but it's important. It's an um, important good, thing to master. It really yeah, is. Like, um, I, the, I, I the say it admittedly. I'm, I think my mental is what's holding me back the most to go from sort of there to there because I do get annoyed at myself. I do get on tilt. Um, so yeah, it's it's something that you need to master. I think. Yeah, that's very that's very use, useful, of course. Yes. Um, and then the good thing about my deck is it can it can win both ways. That really like I did get this can win about racing and it can also win through simple card advantage because everything in this deck. If you look at this list, nearly everything does card advantage in this deck. You can use every card in this deck to do card advantage. Um, so I knew okay, I missed the one drop, but now. I had two drops, Flynn and Ursula. I knew, okay, I have to play the Ursula, so I hope to get card advantage off of her and to need, I need to outvalue my opponent because I'm, I'm very glad. I was very glad that they, uh, uh, Erebus had no rabbit and I had a rabbit. Mm -hmm. And it's so simple sometimes if someone has the rabbit and the other player has no rabbit, you just win because you. Yeah. Makes so much card advantage. They just did uh, that resource you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you can do this with with this deck. And obviously, draw four out of Ursula. I had the combo in the hand. 
Uh, that's always although it seemed from your top 16 8 and 4 games you like never got that off it seemed like you were always inking the Ursula yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) it was very sad um but I think in the last game of the of the semifinal, I did this. I don't remember that. I think much, you got one I off. I think I think I yeah, just saw yes. one. But like in so many games, it was just ink, and you always um, seem to have two or three mother knows best in your hand. <laughs> uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes I'm really annoyed because this deck is really, really, really hard to play. I think you have so many options in every turn. Because the problem is. Since you get to turn three or four, you can nearly play your whole hand. You have no curve. This deck has no curve. You can just play everything in your hand, and you have always you need all, every turn. You need to figure out which is the best play now because some other decks like I don't want to say Ruby Amethyst is the easy deck to pilot because every deck is 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 skillful, but sometimes you have just have your curve, and then turn six Medusa, turn five uh, Maui, and th- th- that's sometimes quite obvious what you're playing but this yeah. deck has no real curve and that makes it so m- m- mind-breaking sometimes because you have to think so much and that annoyed me and in the finals i really i know i knew this maybe i should i could have played better by but my brain was just empty i couldn't think anymore and i i, I knew i was against the candio who, who is counted as one of the best steel song players in the world mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I'm afraid I have a bad matchup against him, and I knew I have to. He has to brick, and I have to draw so good yeah. that I have a chance. And uh, I just played what I what I, I what I drew. Sometimes you you, you knew it but, was an uphill battle just feeling the matchup. And at this, point, I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like just like, I don't want to speak for you, but the look on your face sort of said. All right, I made the finals. I probably lose this matchup, but I'm I made yeah, it. Yeah. I'm in the finals. It's I'm good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I thought. And I knew I had the invitational. I had yeah. the invitational. That because was very, very the cool for already me. got his. That was yeah. the thing everyone wants, I think. Um, so because the Candio has the invitational yet, because he won two tournaments, that's absolutely crazy. It's mad. Um, With sixty six uh, cards. Uh, sixty six cards. <laughs> And uh, I was just happy to reach uh, the of final. Of course, end. I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't change too much. It's always. It always depends on the meta. Yeah. Um, the the flex spots are. I would say the three drop maleficence and one mother knows best, mm-hmm. and the two ismas maybe. But everything else is pretty Should solid not be excluded i wouldn't uh, want to cut anything think, else like i i yeah. instinctively i i would like to get pinocchios in here and like for, yeah. for me for me it's probably one mother knows best yeah one yeah, mali yeah, yeah. or maybe one isma but either one uh, uh, yeah it's probably one mother knows best and then one isma or one Ma, um yes, mali yes. for for two pinocchio i yes. i'm just a big fan of pinocchio I, i'm running i'm running yeah, yeah, I, i'm running I, three I'm also, in control uh, at the moment i think yeah, it's just yeah. so it's good a, at the moment it's a really good card and and uh, the ruby amethyst on that day really were punished to the most <laughs> did not play it uh, at least on my ursula it never got pinocchio uh, that was very good for me um so Ursula was really free on that day. Um, that was really crazy. No, no tech against Ursula not that much. And even the steel decks are not playing Smash anymore. Yeah, yeah They yeah. need some. Uh, um, they play Zeus. It's what's most of the time one turn too late. Yeah, Zeus is not too late, but it's kind of clunky to play to Zeus uh, Ursula uh, if you can't sing it. Um, so that's okay for me. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think they, the list if, is. If they want to play turn, if they want to sing Zeus on turn four or their aerial, then that's pretty passive. Like, yeah, I don't think yeah, you care too much yeah. about that. Okay, nice. And then, and then, yeah. Go on, no, go on, go on, go on. Finish your, finish your point. Yeah, and then, I, then the aerial is exerted, and they can maybe fox it or something. So yeah. that, that isn't too, too, too bad uh, for me. So yeah, but, um, but it burns up resources and like keep. keep I, I in the past I played only two snakes, but I think snakes are too important against Steel Song because you. Right. The only thing, if you if you are against Steel Song, you and you don't have an Ursula in your opening hand, you just mulligan your whole hand. So to get a two drop Ursula, it's the only card needed in this matchup. It's totally crazy. It's, it's completely it doesn't matter what you else have. You just need this two drop Ursula to have a chance even against this deck. And then you need to bounce her all the time to outvalue him, and that's your that's your winning option against Steel Song. 
Nice. Yeah, so the, the two to four snakes are important, yes. Um, Just to finish off on this deck, obviously you're running the yeah. three Queen's Castle here, which I'm a big fan of yeah. as well. Um, what are your thoughts on locations in general, like across all um, the ink since their introduction? I think you should maybe play four of these because um, in this deck, because it really raises your chance against steel decks. Um, some steel decks have really, especially blue steel, has a really hard time to deal with this. It's 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 one of your winning conditions against this deck, because even if they run a, t a Titan, Rise of the Titans, that nearly their whole turn to to remove yeah. this location, uh, and they just slow them out so much. So this is a real important card into many matchups. Of course, into red purple or red blue, it's often ink, um, but um, it's inkable, so it's uh, it's really really important into any steel deck. Obviously, it's 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 it sounds crazy, but because steel is the only color that has options to remove a location, but it's yeah. it's, it's good against them because they. They need to. It's it's a tempo play. It doesn't complement the rest of yeah, their deck just because they have yeah, the yeah. Art of removal. It doesn't complement the rest of the deck style, which is so slow yes. the first few turns, and then normally turn four is Flavisham, turn five is probably Gaston after ramping. So it's yeah. sitting there for a good. It, it, it and, if even with control, it's it's the line I go for if I'm against Blue Steel for sure. Yeah, yeah, and the Maui is much worse for us to could, because that's that's why I ink it against red purple. If they have Maui, it's so bad for us. Then yeah. then there's full full health Maui on the board that dealt with the location, and that's really really bad for us. So it's too risky most of the time to play it against red purple or or red blue most of the time. So yeah. All right, we've been talking for fifty minutes, and we could probably go on a lot more, <laughs> but I want to leave enough time to allow for a little game where I can get, uh, I can have the voice of Artabax in my ear to coach me through <laughs> some EA tempo. It's interesting because I've, I've I've been a big fan of EA tempo since its birth. Um, I've, I've said at the beginning, I think this is a really good, strong deck, well situated, and I, I still haven't got, gotten around to actually testing it. As it stands, I have zero games with um, with uh, green purple. So this will be super interesting just to take my, I'll talk through my instincts of what I feel I should be doing, and the, 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 the best EA temper player in the game will tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong. You up for it? Oh, I don't know if I'm dead, but I, 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 I try to... <laughs> I try to, um, but I think you will do. You're an experienced player. You will. You will. We'll do our best. If it, if we win, then yes. it's my. F if, if if we win, I did well. If I lose, it's your fault. Right. Let's jump into a <laughs> yes, game. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> this channel is sponsored by Card Market. So check out Card Market for all your trading card game needs. Okay, we have got some EA Artabacks. Just win the game loaded up into Pixelborn. <laughs> uh, we're just playing the normal rank ladder. If we do hardcore, then we've got to do two out of three and we could be here for an hour plus. Uh, <laughs> and this video's already coming up to the hour mark and the algorithm don't like it when I go too much over an hour. <laughs> so it'll be just one game unless we kill them straight out immediately. Sorry, I shouldn't use that word. Right, That's we're up against Ruby Amethyst uh, and we're, we're on the draw. Not a good start. Um, okay. Oh. Right, do I need to keep the really Ursula against... Do I need to keep the Ursula no. against Red Purple? I no, wouldn't no. have thought so. Uh, but I want uh, it for later. Do I hold it to play before turn no, seven? No, no, no. I would hold it. You it. draw her sometime. I definitely I would, want... I would keep one friend. Uh, well, yeah, one friend. Um, I would, I would, I would send back the Fox and the Goat to... Yeah. Just to draw Ursula. Free drop Ursula. Yeah, that's fair. I wondered if we hold something for Ink. That's okay. We yeah. have so less uninkable count. We can we can risk that. Um, okay, sounds good. We have only twelve. Uh, so they're playing minis. Okay, so we do we still want to go for the cursed merfolk here, or is there an yes. argument? To, yeah, we're still the cursed merfolk. No, no. One of these flins, or do we go with the Isma because she's too far away? What's I would take. Isma. I would take Isma. You would throw Isma away. Yep, yeah. I see it, and go with the cursed merfolk. Yes. And pass up. All right, we, we because we, we, Flynn, is, Flynn is also good on turn three or something to play because mm. this is pressure. Um, they are playing the Jim Hawkins version, so we uh -huh. definitely we're definitely going to see some locations. Could just be Castle. It's even ambitions is annoying because not that's everyone's playing. Totally it. fine for us. Uh, that's totally fine for us. That's quite, a total. It's that's quite a, slow from them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's their total turn. So you can of course ink one Ursula here. Yeah. That's my instinct, I but I, I, I'm waiting for your approval because you're the master, and I want to make sure <laughs> you, 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 you agree with the play. You can I say just... if I shall talk less, and then, uh, <laughs> then I, 
No, 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 no. This is play. this is exactly what no, I no, want. Okay, I've, okay. This is exactly what okay. I want. I've, otherwise, it, otherwise, it's me. Um, it's just me on my own playing a game. And the benefit here is that I'm I'm learning from the man that knows the deck far better. So we're going with a snake. But yeah, no. By all means, uh, so, seems like an Ursula. To, sorry, I'm Maleficent to me. But what's yeah. your thoughts? I would ink Maleficent. Okay. I think um, and play. Ah, it's hard to say. Yeah, I think I would ink Maleficent and play the Flint one and Shadowbook. Yeah. Just extend. Yeah, makes sense to me as well. And and, and don't quest here. You wouldn't quest here. Because, yeah. Because next turn they have a hard time to deal with both Flints if they don't have a rabbit here. Mm -hmm. and that's safe. okay. Um, Again, quite slow from them. Yeah, yeah that's okay. So you will see that they have not many cards left. Mm -hmm. If they play two cheat, okay, that's a little bit scary, but we have a crab. Um, Something we want to get down now. Yeah, I think we just crab the... The Chernobog. The Chernobog, yeah, and go on the location. And with Flynn, we are questing, I, I think. Yeah, that's good to me. So oh, that's now hard ink decision here. Um, and then we just quest with Flynn. Yes. I think we should ink the Ursula here. Yeah, okay. You are the you are the pro. Oh I I can also <laughs> make this place, but oh, um, no, no, I, I, I think I, I, she's, I, she's Absolutely. Absolutely. Um she's not that useful now. And that that's much gas we get out of this to to um friends here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yeah. not bad for them, but we, they are out of cards um, soon. So I would sing that friends first. Uh, sing it with, as in yeah. with crab or just pay for it the whole Yes, heart. yes. Sing it with crab. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, another crab is nice and the rabbit. Do we um, want to take out this castle this turn, right? Yes, yes. So does that mean we have to throw down crab um, and boost up Flynn to go in? No, I would. I would. Oh, that's hard to say. Or to, um, uh, or to be fair, we could play the snake to to bounce yeah, this crab, yeah, and that would do um, it as well. No, play the other crab. I would say play the other crab and boost up yeah. Flynn and take out the castle. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because there's no world where we want to leave this castle here, right? To let them just start drawing yes, cards. Yes, yes. And, and I, th I think we shouldn't ink something here. Just hold. Uh, yes. Nice. That, that's, oh. that, that makes sense to me. It's not like we need to get uh, a particular ink. We have only Isma that's higher than five. And, and, uh, um... yeah, yeah, that's no, not that's, bad. That no. seems reasonable to me. All right, takes up the Flynn. That's fair enough. That's a trade. Alrighty. So, so, what are your thoughts? Sing friends, rabbit, or oh, uh, that's interesting. Or is it not? You tell me. I would first play the the rabbit now. Play the rabbit, and see what we're drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would I would now think, think the Ursula. <coughs> I think. Mm -hmm. And that's very greedy to to play for the Ursula now, and that's kind of slow. I just would pass here. Just pass. Now. Um, we have so yeah, we have so much card advantage now. We can we can bounce the rabbit next turn. Um, mm -hmm. If they don't have another, another Medusa, would be bad, but that's okay. Uh, we, we 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 the crab yes. Yeah, that was the instinct. Okay, two ladies on the field. Boost this yeah, up. that's a little bit annoying now, but. Um, just have to be careful to not lose the race now. But we could first sing this friends. Mm -hmm. Hopefully draw a fox, that would be really oh nice. <laughs> so straight yeah, away take out the take yes, out the lady. Yes. Yes. Yeah, makes sense to me. I'll have a card please. Look at all okay. these cards we draw in. Oh don't it feel nice? <laughs> just to have a <laughs> just to have a full hand. <laughs> um do we um... want to we can still ink if we want to, if we need, we might not want to. I feel like we want to get this Merfolk down, right? 
with something else. Um, I would ink the location, I think. Yeah. And they're both one drops. Yes. And just play both one drops. Yeah. Nice. Sounds good. Yeah, because we've got the rabbit to fall back on. We can bounce it. If they want to be prepared, that would be pretty bad for... Oh, they're, they're playing the Keeper of Secrets. This is quite, oh. a, this is quite a random... Okay. This is Ruby Amethyst. <laughs> this is Ruby Amethyst with the new Jafar. I didn't... I, they, in fact, I've just remembered they inked that a couple of turns back and we definitely didn't... We definitely didn't pay enough attention to that. Yeah, what, yeah. what is this? So true. So Who are true. you, Pixelborn OD9F800FP583? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm so assuming we're just playing the rabbit here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. cool, cool, I cool. I think we have we had a really good spot now. And bounce it back. Just bounce it. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Again, these are just my instincts, but I'm 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 always happy to be told I'm wrong. Do we care about inking or do we just keep the keep the hand? I think I would keep it now. Yep. I, I think there's no reason to ink here. I, I'm glad to hear you say that. So a lot, see, a lot of this is just checking if my instincts are right yeah, I, with the people that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just uh, d d with the, per the the more experienced player. So we've got Mali and Olaf. Okay. So our rabbits again, I would say. Just keep drawing cards. And now we can play the Ursula. Um, mm, Ink the kit uh, or. Uh, Kit or, or Isma, it doesn't matter too much, I think. I think I want to ink the kit. Yeah, yeah, I know that's... Uh, I, will, I, will, I will make a decision. And, and then play the Ursula. Push Ursula, nice. Yeah, and Quest. Yeah, I was going to say, this is pretty safe. If Mal, so you see, we were not the Acro deck this time. We were, we were the... We were the uh, not we Control, were, but yeah, we yeah, were yeah, the... Yeah. the, the, the we were slow. We, we we didn't feel the yeah. need to push out straight away. Now I see you. Because to be honest, that probably would have been my instinct earlier on, would have been to, to push a bit more. But no, I, th this is good. Um, so um, we want to see friends, friends, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. This will be my yes. first time Absolutely. ever doing this with the Seaver of Wall. <laughs> Draw four! Again. Draw four, baby! <laughs> feels good. <laughs> <laughs> feels, feels good. All right, look at all these cards. Mate. Um, so... You can do many things here, yeah. um, and all will lead to a victory. I hope. <laughs> um, okay. I would. I would just play the location this turn because it's it's um, it survives. Be prepared if they draw, draw it. Um, play the we... now we we quest and play the fox. I think quest and um, play the fox. That's that's kind of what um, I wanted to do. And then we can still link something and move yeah. um, something to the castle. Looks good. Ah, I would I would not move something to a cast. I would just play the Rafiki as well. I just think. play the Rafiki. Uh, uh, Inking kit, okay? Need to push now. Yeah. Yeah. Just push now. We just need to push now as fast as possible Sorry. so they can't come back out of some lucky draws or something. Uh, yeah. And if at the moment, if they do top the B prep, then we have an immediate follow up. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's fine. We do not care. Okay, that's fine. They probably play that straight back down. Mm. I would imagine. They still can't do anything about it, though. Thanks for the challenger three, buddy. Okay. Oh, well, you could, you could. Uh, I would uh, play Isma over the Rafiki now. I think. Yeah, just quest but it up he's and not... ease yeah. her into it. Yep. Just all these cards and just saying, I am going to continuously have an answer to anything that you do. And if you B prep me, I'm going to be able to immediately respond to the field. Um, and I'll just play the fastest. Th I, I would play uh, Flynn and Merfolk now. Flynn and Merfolk. You don't need to dra draw any more cards. That's not necessary now. So you can also do that after be prepared or something if you need it with two rabbits in your hand. So we don't need to send something into the castle. Okay. That's not necessary now. All right. Makes sense. Did you say it's this is fine to quest, right? It's pretty yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just 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 push for it now. Okay, great. It's it's finding the right time to strike. Really, I think it's going to yes, be yes. beneficial, not just to me, but I just think watches in general like learn. Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, but yeah, you've uh, said, it doesn't doesn't mean doesn't okay. doesn't mean it was the wrong move at all. Like no, sometimes no, no, sometimes no, no, you no. have to you have to play to win the game. Do we just go rabbits yes. here now? 
Yes, yes. And we still um, and we still have a castle on board, so I think we're pretty good. Rabbit again? Um, or is yeah. That... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and bounce one rabbit. Um, and I bounce think one rabbit. We, do, we want to. Did we don't want to get both rabbits removed? But I think we won it, no matter what we do now. But uh, I always try to keep one rabbit um, in my hands, so I have yeah. gas. Uh, um, you know, and uh, yeah, and now ink the crab and play yeah. the fin. Oh, yeah. or the Ursula. Yeah, the, so the, the, uh, why are we not bouncing the rabbit? Mm, you could both. You could do both. Flynn was just faster, but if they drop you for that, yeah, like, you can bounce the rabbit. Uh, Let's bounce the rabbit then. Get that hand size back up. But yeah, I see what you mean. Like, this is. There's already so many decision points and different lines. So, definitely a deck that if you want to take it to a big tournament, you really need to. There you go. Nice. GG's. But yeah, definitely a deck that if you want to take it to a tournament and like a, an event that means something to you, get get your um get your reps in with with that yes, deck of, of because course. you need to get used to all the different lines and knowing against what inks, when's the time to strike, when's the time to draw cards, all those things. But hey, you led us to our, our first dub with some EA tempo and we we we're, we're going really long now, so just to bring us home. Um first of all, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really thank appreciate you. it. Really? Really last last minute as well. So I appreciate you having the time and you taking some time to have a chat with me and uh, to have that game with me. It's one of the greatest pleasures of getting to do the job that I'm doing at the moment. I get to spend time and get to know people, good people, good players and speak to both sides. So thank you so much for being here. Are there any shout outs you want to give? Any thank yous, any plugs? Take your moment. Um... I, yeah, I didn't mention it uh, till now. Uh, LD, uh, Lokana Decklist, uh, is, is a player who is also really good. And we built this deck together um, mm -hmm. on the first for my first tournament. Uh, I write with him a lot about this deck. And so I think he's also honored for, for this deck because we, we really built this deck together. Mm -hmm. And I want to make a shout out for him. Um, he's a great guy. I met, I met him yeah, yeah, yeah. at, yeah. Um, it was the Into the Inklands release event. I met him. Pavel, Earl Meister, we did a podcast together, and yeah, LD's a, a really top guy, and a, a, as you say, a fantastic deck builder. So yeah, huge shout out to him. Do you have social media or anything anywhere that people can find you? Um, I'm on Twitch. Uh, I'm streaming um, most of the time, Tuesday and Thursday, mm -hmm. every week uh, at 8 p.m. German time. Um, and if I'm playing a tournament, I also stream them. So so feel free to join. Um, and thank you, really, for having me here. My pleasure. On your channel. That's really, really, really... I was really happy uh, that I can have this chance here. No, no, honestly, it's my absolute pleasure. I'm not just saying it to be cheesy. Like, I, I, I getting to meet people and like, get different points of view. And, like, that's that's one of the best things about the... the about my job since I started the channel. So really grateful for you, grateful for the insights. As the man said, you can find him over on Twitch. That will be linked down below. And that is it. Really awesome conversation with Artabax. Really great guy, great player, and great, uh, great to finally have a game with some EA Tempo being coached by the man himself. But yeah, it's been a long one, so we're going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. As I already said, make sure you check out Artabax. His Twitch will be down below. But that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe for all things Lorcana. Hit that like button to show your support, and we'll see you soon.